Hello everyone, welcome back to CFT College. I'm Ashkan and in this tutorial, uh, which is the sixth uh, session of TechPla training course, I'm going to show you how you can import your data into TechPlot from Fluent. So uh, if you like these videos and find them useful, please subscribe to the channel, share these videos with your friends and give us a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, uh, you can write your comment or question in the comment section below and I will help you in your projects. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so for example, you have a project, you have a simulation in ANSYS Fluent, and you want to visualize your contours, your results, uh, your streamlines in TechPlot. What should you do? Uh, you have two different methods, actually, there are two different methods to import and load our CFD results from Fluent to TechPlot. The first method, which is easier, is uh, loading the case and data file uh, directly into TechPlot. So uh, if you have done a simulation, uh, you definitely have these files. Uh, case file and data file. Uh, if you use, if you are using a newer version of uh, ANSYS, uh, the format of your data and case files are like this. Uh, for example, your name of the file dot case dot h5, and the same goes for data file. Uh, to open these kinds of files in TechPlot, you should use the newer versions of TechPlot. I think at least, uh, you know, 2022. Uh, but if you are working with older versions of ANSYS and your file, uh, your data and case file uh, are in this format, dot data and dot case without this uh, CFF format H5 you can open and load these files into any versions any version of TechPlot uh, so if you go to TechPlot and click on this icon load data um, you can change the formats to all files or uh, fluent common fluid files loader uh, for CFF format, new formats, and for older versions, uh, this one, fluent data loader. You can choose one of these depending on your uh, data. And after that, uh, yeah, you can select case and data file. Uh, know that you should select both of them. Then click on op open and you have your data in TechPlot. You can, uh, you know, activate the contour, uh, for example, X velocity or any other parameter and variable you want, uh, streamlines and so on. I will talk about them and teach you how you can uh, create contours, vector velocity vectors, streamlines, and different parameters in TechPlot in future tutorials. But so this is one of uh, uh, methods that we can use to import our data. The second one uh, is, uh, you know, in the second method, you should export the TechPlot uh, readable data from Fluent. So you can go to, if you are, if you have a steady state simulation, you can do it uh, at the end of the calculations. But if you have transient, I'll talk about transient simulation, I'll talk about it uh, in a minute. So 
in a ste in steady state simulations after uh, the calculation is done uh, you should go to file tab then export solution data if you click on that you can uh, export any variable mm, you want uh, from your simulation to take plot because uh, if you go to this section from calculation and uh, let me initialize or read, let me read the data file if you go here data file quantities these are uh, the variables that are uh, you know saved in my data file in different you know time steps or iterations you can see them here but as you can see we have 72 quantities in this simulation uh, it depends on your model and uh, your project uh, so 30 of them are actually saved in data file and we have 42 parameters that are not saved so if you want them you have to select them uh, in data file quantities to save uh, to be saved in data file by ANSYS Fluent or this is the second method but um, remember we are uh, working in steady state simulation now so go to file export solution data and change the file type to tech plot then you can select any quantity you want for example velocity magnitude x and y velocity uh, because you know in general velocity magnitude is not available in fluent data when you import it to take a lot and you have to calculate it it a velocity magnitude in take plot which is not uh, you know which is not hard actually it's pretty easy but it's not there so if you want it to be there to be in your data you should select it here or in data file quantities uh, for example, wall shear stress, mm, pre static pressure, and vorticities or, you know, velocity gradients. Any variable you want, you can select here and then write the file in the tech plot format. So if you click on write, uh, cylinder files for example so you have to wait until the file is written okay it's done and now you can see here mm, cylinder files now if you If, uh, by drag and drop you can have your CFT results in tech plot and this time you only have the coordinates and the variables you selected in ANSYS Fluent. So this is the second method but what if you have transient simulation uh, in that case, uh, you have two ways. First, is select the first is selecting the quantities at the beginning of the calculation, and the second one, if you want to save your data in TechPlot format, uh, you have to create an automatic export in calculation activities section uh, what is the benefit of this method uh, as you know in uh, complicated uh, cases for example 
3D simulations. Uh, the case, the data file, the size of the data file is big. And for example, you want to have, you want to save the data, uh, the results of the CFD every, for example, five time steps. But in that case, the size of, uh, I don't know, uh, total uh, data uh, is, for example, uh, become 100 gigabytes and you don't have that uh, space. So uh, in this situation, the better way is to define this automatic export. And in this case, you can select uh, the variables you want, not all the variables. And you will have uh, techplot files uh, with much lower, uh, you know, size. And you can save this space. So if you uh, go to calculation activities, here you have automatic export, click on create and solution data export. Uh, you should change the file file top file type the format to take blood uh, you can specify a name for it and select the quantities here uh, if for example you want to uh, have the data on a specific plane or idle surface in 3d simulation you can select the surface in this section in this window and here you have to specify the data frequency, export data every, for example, uh, 10 time steps, or you can change it to flow time, for example, every uh, 0 0.01 seconds. And here is the location of the uh, export, uh, exported data. And here you can select uh, whether the name of the files are assigned with time step or flow time. And then click on OK. Now if you start the calculations, you will have uh, these uh, text plot exports and uh, you can still have uh, this auto save of uh, data, for example, every 20 time steps. So every 20 time steps, you have your data, uh, which has, uh, you know, big files and larger size. And every, for example, five time steps, you have uh, your tech plot export, which has, you know, a smaller size. And uh, that's it, I think. Uh, it's okay. It's enough for this session. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please subscribe to the channel and share these videos with your friends if you like them and if you find them uh, you know helpful mm. and this I think it's okay for this session uh, thanks for watching the video until the next video take care of yourselves and bye bye